Hello. We have just pulled up to the Fiat dealership and we're hoping to get a lower ball joint without being able to speak Portuguese. The mechanic in the last time was kind of serious that we need to change it. It's got me a bit scared. He did tell me it's Beeble. I know the word for the part we need. And Emily was Googling on the way here. It looks the same on the Fiat as ours. So yeah, we're going to try and convince these people to put in a part that's for a different car into our car. <laughs> in other countries, they have wanted us to like have a license plate with the car that we want to buy a part for and stuff like that. Hopefully in Brazil, they're way nicer and they're like, yeah, let's just try it. That's what we're trying to manifest right now. Ours is so dirty. Obrigada. No luck at the first place. But we got a pointer. Yes, and we know how to say parts. <laughs> because in Spanish it's repuestos. And on Google Translate, parts is not parts. That's not the right word. And we're like, hey, we need some parts. And she's like, I don't understand. And Danny said, I don't speak Portuguese. And then she looked at me and she said, do you speak Portuguese? And I was like, <laughs> was no. <laughs> was yeah, I was like, no, but we speak Spanish. If you understand, falamos español si vos se entende. And she said, si sí, un poco. And she gave us a phone number and I was like, oh, like, oh no, they have a WhatsApp. You can message them too. So we're, Danny's going to message the WhatsApp because it does have an address, but it's 28 minutes away. So. We did learn today too that the days of the week are kind of funny here. They call, you know, Sunday is normal and that's the first day of the week. And then t uh, Monday would just be called second day. Wednesday is third day, uh, Tuesday is third day. Wednesday is fourth day. Friday is fifth day. And then you got Saturday again, which are the same Spanish and English. Sabado, Domingo for Saturday, Sunday. It's kind of funny because our Tuesday is actually their third day here. <laughs> <laughs> so I Googled the area code here in Curit Curitiba and uh, I am able to get the WhatsApp so let's see if we can get in contact here they say visit this link and what do we do here these are a lot of options I don't know what well, any of them are oh can you throw this in Google Translate actually I think you have to go to the Google Translate website all right so in English collection and deliveries collection and deliveries Tokyo supply HDI supply? I don't honestly know. <laughs> I think we're just gonna have to go there. Sim, para o Fiat Gato. Sim, você vai anotar outro telefone, o 3017. Sim, ok. Gracias. Nada. Obrigada. Well, they picked up and then hung up on me, so I'm calling again after three minutes of the phone ringing. All right, well, yeah, since they're deciding not to answer, we gotta drive 28 minutes. Yeah, this guy's been great. He looked at a whole bunch of different Ducato schematics. Well, probably it was the third try. And it looked like the one Emily while we were driving, Emily. <laughs> what it's supposed to look like here. Yeah. And it does look like this. It's so. at least the formation of the part that would connect to other parts looks the same. So, and he said we can return it, and it's only fifty bucks. So. Yeah, fifty bucks. Well, what did it come to? One hundred eighty rail. So yeah, it's not not bad price. So yeah. now we'll go, I guess, to that suspension shop, and. Uh, Man, if they could put it on today, I'm going to sleep for a week. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's funny. That warms you right up. That wakes you right up. Mm, let me try. Yeah. Wow, yeah. That's like a piece of coffee candy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's the picture. Here's the part they got. That looks the same to me, except for the color. Want to see the other angle you got there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That looks very much the same. 
coming we out did it. Box. We did it. We did it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my god, what is that? Oh, look at Grandma me. Graham, watch your tail. Don't hit Graham. Oh, Don't hit no. Graham with your tail. Oh, yes. But it says here, conforms to U.S. federal motor vehicle safety standards, if any are applicable, which I feel good about. I mean, it's from Mopar. So here he said he will refund it if it doesn't fit, but we're going to go to a suspension shop. I found one on iOverlander cross-referenced it to Google Maps. It has a 4.7 rating, so it seems like a really good option, as well as the Overlander gushing comment. So that's, you know, the fingers crossed next step. Hopefully this goes well. But as far as we can tell, this is identical. The guy who worked at this parts place was so nice. I mean, just compared to the woman that worked at the parts place. Puta Renas, Danny walked into the parts place and she wouldn't help him because he didn't have a VIN number of a Fiat Ducato. Yeah. Even though he said like, it's the same part we think, can you please just give it to us? And she- or Like at least look at the schematics. And she just 100% refused. We said we would like a part for a Fiat Ducato. And we told him the part and he didn't understand what part we were talking about. And, but he managed to figure it out and we were like, it's not that one, <laughs> maybe it's this one. He tried three different, three completely different cars to see if this is the part. And he just understood that like, we really need help right now, please help us. Like, it's just that whenever you talk to someone here in Brazil, they're like, they start off smiling. Mm. You know what I mean? Like they start off just like being happy. I wish I had some more, Stanima to travel for longer because I am getting really, you know, kind of tired of traveling. But stamina. That's what I said. Stamina. Stan it's stanima. St oh, stanima. That's what. Stanima. Stam. You flipped the. Stanima. Stanima. Stam. Stamina. Yeah. <laughs> stamina. Yeah. Oh shoot. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. So, no luck first place, huh? Yeah, so they were very nice and they seem like a really good shop. They only work on combis, like Volkswagens, I guess. So, we're going, he did give us another place. In the meantime, I've also found a good bike path we can go on. He seems like uh, not really quite understanding, but he wants to put it up. So, I don't think he understood the whole part about how we think it fits and all that but he said let's let's put it on <laughs> oh man so he's saying like why are we changing it and I was like, oh, it's the guy told us it's really bad. And he's like, hmm. Now he's going to talk to him. It's not really bad? I don't know. Okay, so here is the old one. They say the new one's gonna fit. But here, the old one, um, you can see, obviously this is a little messed up. And you know, with the new one we saw, it's, it's really hard to move. It, it does move, but it's really hard. This one's like super easy. Did he say we needed this? <laughs> he thought, uh, yeah, this one is good, good to be changed out. I could ask, I could ask, but we probably want to hold on to this one just in case, huh? Yeah. So it's probably not the clack. <laughs> Maybe the one in the last town who told me I needed to change it might've been making a bigger deal out of it than he needed to be, which he probably didn't know how much I stress about these things. But uh, yeah, he was saying that the wheel could go and that it could happen in a week. So, so basically they said that they have to use two, two nuts instead of one because it only came with one. But something about the way it like tightens to it is like slightly different. So he had another nut already. Um, they say it's gonna be good. They think it's a good idea. They say the old one is worth changing. Yeah. Okay, so he's got the new ball joint on. 
Let's see. Down here. Oh. Looks pretty good. Wow, that looks beefy. So yeah, he put the two bolts on the bottom to keep it tight. Let's be what Tell us about your time there at the mechanic. Oh my god. That was quite the time. <laughs> well, maybe I'll wait until I merge. <laughs> I mean, obviously we got that ball joint put on. You know, here's the old one. But uh, the old one had this, this pin in here. And it had one, one uh, nut there and then it has the pin. The new one doesn't have a hole there for a pin. So what he did is he put two nuts and put them really nice and tight. And they said that that's bomb, you know, which means good. And when we go to give it a test drive, I say, okay, well, I'll just show you how it makes that clack noise I was talking about. And you know, I popped it in reverse, it didn't do it first try. I pop it in drive, boom, I did it loudly inside of a small building like that. It's easy to, to hear. And so then he goes, oh, can I try? And that was my mistake. I shouldn't have let him drive because then he's doing it over and over and over. Clack, 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 clack. It's like, whoa, man, we've been trying super hard to make it not make that noise. Uh, and I said, all right, man, I think that's enough. That's enough, you know? happens every time these people try to, to di try to diagnose this problem which would be fine if we were in a place where they could get the part and put it on if they broke it you know but if he breaks it right now we're kind of like out of luck you know completely out of luck because we don't know what this is and if you break it we don't have any parts to get a new one yeah and he did have sort of a idea that he thought okay this looks equivalent to the Dodge journey 2.6 liter engine. <laughs> I mean, he, he knows his stuff, you know. And uh, he thought, okay, I think I could fix it. The the reason he really wanted to check was, is this serious? Is this going to be a serious issue? And Emily thought of it. She said, okay, look, this has been happening for a year. It might be a serious issue, but it hasn't. It hasn't forced us to stop driving for a year, which means that it's not as serious as we need to stop driving now to get it fixed. Yeah, but he did say what he thought it was. That CV shaft. And the CV shaft on the wheel side, it connects, but on the transmission side where it connects, it fits into a thing. And he thought that might be where the clack is coming from. But in the end, we decided enough is enough. Let's stop trying to diagnose this because we can make it worse. So we told him, you know, it's been doing it for a year. We're trying to leave in about two more months. Looks like we might put 2,000 more kilometers on before then. Then we'll be back in the States where people are used to dealing with this vehicle. And he said, all right, that sounds good. Yeah, you guys go ahead, drive safe. Honestly, it does feel a little bit better with the ball joint in there to me. It <laughs> could be mental. <laughs> One other crazy thing that happened while we were in there was I found a tick on Danny's back, just like walking around on Danny's back. No, I'll start this story out like I told Danny whenever I was convincing him that it was a good choice to buy these. So I, as a child, loved peanut butter banana sandwiches. <laughs> and I thought one day I'm going to make banana sauce because, you know, peanut butter and banana sandwiches are really tasty, but you sometimes don't have bananas, so it would be nice to have like banana preserves and they would spread better onto the bread than regular bananas. Fast forward to me, 28 years old, walking through a Brazilian supermarket, and what do I find? <laughs> Maybe banana sauce. I don't know, I don't speak Portuguese. Does this say banana sauce? I sure hope so, because I bought it, and it's pretty big. <laughs> so we're going to make these peanut butter banana sauce sandwiches. This is what the banana spread looks like. I don't know why it's red. It's making me nervous. It makes me think this is just strawberry jelly. We're making these sandwiches and we're just gonna try it. We're not gonna try the sauce before. Maybe this was a mistake. Maybe we shouldn't have tried the sauce before. <laughs> because we also have bananas. So we, but whatever, we'll just peel it off if we don't like it. Bon appetit. Oh my gosh. It tastes like a green donut. Banana sweet. 
I love it. Yay! Hopefully this reinvigorates my want for PBJs because lately I've been like, meh, I don't want a PBJ. Kind of like a PB&J, but like a hint of banana. a lot of <laughs> Sambrita, how do you feel post bike ride? How do you feel post bike ride? Oh man, I want to get some more biking in. Let's go check out the local. The campground. What is it? You see it? I think she, I think she thinks that that stump is an animal or something. I knew it was the stump. He's the best. He doesn't run away. I can't believe that he just goes outside. He doesn't run away. Look at this little guy. Our campsite is in a little town on the coast near Paranagua. Very relaxed, small town. Danny's cleaning out the trunk to see what we have stored under there. Yeah, we got front and back brake pads, an extra water pump, some fold up hinges. Wow, so other stuff we've been carrying around is we got some engine head gaskets, which we have used these when we replaced the oil pressure sensor last time and we got another water system thing a uh, strainer thing that goes right before your pump the sensors that came out of the transmission we got a dipstick for the transmission that i haven't actually used yet because you can kind of check it with the oil one two windshield repair kits we haven't used or fuses for the inverter the cap for the coolant reservoir since we replaced it we just kept the cap and it looks like we did have a ball joint a used one but it looks in better shape than the one that was removed yesterday uh, and this one see it does have the cotter pin slot unlike the new one so we got an extra set of headlights in here too and an extra set of led headlights control arm bushing oil transmission fluid two oil filters hey babe some good news what i found in the trunk too tell me in oh, here, that... you know this is the engine oil cooler filter housing yes so your oil filter fits right in that part and this goes into the inside of the engine but yeah we do have the sensor here oh. so that's the sensor that's just gone bad again the third time it's, it should be this one but it looks like we got both you want to see much money i found from different countries in the drawer <laughs> yeah what do you got I got all of this Paraguay Chile. Whoa. How much is that worth? Like 10 cents? <laughs> Maybe 20. No, and then yeah, I, it's probably 20 bucks. Huh? I put it all in here because this is where I put all the change. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is for the other monies. Wow. Okay, well, I'll have to toss this back in the trunk and get everything put away. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, there it is. Hyper organized. Whoa, why don't we 
he said, look at this huge crab over there. You know, we saw it from there. And guess what? Oh, Sombrita. There's a skate park. Oh my gosh. This little half five here is so crazy. <laughs> Weird transitions. Ooh, that little kicker on the side looks fun. Wow. Better than a speed bump. coming to the mechanic again with us if you like this video make sure to tell us in the comments and subscribe it's a free way for you to make my day and if you want another way to support us head over to our patreon i'll see you next time